World Open Squash Championship. He carries a definite aura about him, Jahangir Khan. Rodney Martin, Australia serving. Jahangir Khan, Pakistan. Jim, you were the last, in fact, the only Australian who won a World Open, and that was uh, 10, 11 years ago. Martin gets us underway. Absolutely vital, Jeff, that Peter Martin stays with Jahangir in the early stages. Yes, Jahangir is a, hunts the ball all the time he gets in there. It's a lot of pressure on his opponent. Yes, lad. Yes, lad. Love all. He really is aggressive. You, know, you see him hunting the ball down volleys. He, he really runs these players ragged after a while, so it's important to be able to stay with him. Very good up that front back end corner too. Very hard to beat from that position. One of the things immediately noticeable about the style of both players is they're just about choking a racket on that grip. Yeah, it's not the sort of thing I like to try and teach, but you know, I got uh, the British Open champion, Jianga Khan, and also Rodney Martin with a short grip, but um, I know Rodney started using the short grip from an early age. Whereas Jahangir, I think he wasn't quite so far up the handle early on in his career. With a short grip, you sacrifice a little bit of uh, perhaps power, I'd say, but you make up with a bit of control. One love. So Rodney Martin, first on the board. No easy points if that first rally is any indication. No, I don't anticipate there'll be any easy rallies here. Down, hand out, one all. Roshan Khan is here too. Roshan won a British, o uh, British Open Championship a number of years ago. 2-1. Right, here's a replay of the last point. Nice strong drive to the back of the court. Lucky. So good, Jungi. Sets up a backhand drop shot of his. Yes, lad. Yes, lad. All that for nothing. Two, one. <laughs> and should play out at this stage, too. These are rally points, so. And have to serve it to get the point, the American system. This is the system they use now for all the International Squash Players uh, Association tournaments, including the World Open. It makes it very exciting, especially towards the end of the game when it gets close. So I expect we may see some excitement today as well. So it's first to 15, unless they get to 14 all, and we'll tell you about that if it happens. Fantastic movement, uh, Janga Khan. He really glides around the court, hunts the ball down, always looking to volley the ball. It's probably fitter than he's been for a couple of years, too. He's looking in good condition, but it wasn't good enough to get that one back. It's 
two all. First game. Come off. Three two. Jangi hits very good length with his shots. That means the ball's always getting right to the back of the court. And uh, if you try and attack from there, it makes it difficult. That's why the reason why Rodney hit that last one down, I think. in this match. Oh, that's a great shot. <laughs> Tremendous touch from Jahanga. 4-2. Rodney's probably one of the most exciting squash uh, hitters of the ball I've ever seen. He really is terrific. He has the ability to hit the ball away almost any position on the court. Great racket skills. See how accurate they are. Okay. <laughs> Not much in it. Doesn't give anything away, Jahangir. It plays tight, straight. They get more important to win, right. I guess, Jeff. The psychological letdown of not winning such an exhausting point. Yes, but um, you never know, you know if you can keep in the rallies. Yes, then. Yes, then. Five, two. The one thing about Jahangir's play that makes him difficult is that very few shots that he gives you an easy one. I mean, if, even if he's in trouble, he managed to get the next shot back to a good position. Very difficult to catch him out. Your career and his overlapped, Jeff. Do you see that his game has changed much in, in 10 years? Oh, yes, he's developed his game over the years. He's um, much more confident now at finishing the ball. And, uh, you know, just overall, his general game has improved, no doubt. He started off as a basic retriever. Well, Martin got him going the wrong way. And out, 3-5. We'll see that shot again because uh, the hunger completely went the wrong way. And here is Rodney setting the ball up and there it goes. Martin trails 3-5. would have got to it. No, I thought uh, Rodney was appealing about whether the ball was up or not. And uh, the referee thought it was a... He was asking for a left and gave him a left, so I think he was very lucky there because I don't think he would have got the ball back. The 
it's nice to see the South Australian crowd you know, give a good, warm reception to Rodney Martin because he's the one that put out <laughs> you know, Chris Dittmar yesterday, so they might have been disappointed in that, but it's terrific to see them getting behind him. Yes, lad. Yes, lad. I guess he was apologetic for doing it, but uh, we've got an Aussie in the final. See from that front view of the court, nice position. Junga couldn't. Certainly not quite formidable at the moment, isn't it, Junga? He's got a lot of pressure on. Powerfully built, and they're really contrasting physiques, aren't they? Rodney's long and lean. Now, it takes a ball on the wall like that to be a winner, I think. Otherwise, they get everything All back. Right. Serving at 4 5, first game. Yes, Len. Yes, Len. 4 5. So there, Jeff, he could have hit it, but having made contact with Jahanga, chose to appeal for the lip. Yes, he felt that uh, Jahanga was crowding him a little bit and he wanted to uh, have more room to play the shot. And he uh, probably been better off trying to play it because he had Jungle out of position a bit. But uh, that's a beautiful shot. You can't play them any better than that. Yeah, and now, first placement. Four. These Perspex courts, Jeff, uh, have come a long way in a short time. The player's pretty happy with this one. Oh, yes, it's tremendous viewing from here. You know, the wall is nice and white and consistent. And Martin dragged into the corner and it was sent down away. So Jahanga spreading the lead to three, seven, four. Afford to put the ball in that position right. with an easy shot like that because Jihong is a dynamite at putting those away. He just about takes up residency on the tee, doesn't he? You can see how close and tight to the the side wall, both players hit the ball. Down. 9 4. Chris Robertson, the man that Jahanga beat in the semis, uh, described the court as dead, Jeff. Is that a fair assessment? Yes, well, they, because of the, you know, the temperature's not that high and the court is reasonably dead, it makes it more difficult for the players. It makes it a better game, but I think, because they can't get the ball back as easily and a good shot has goes away a bit better. Down. Some great movement in that rally from both of them. Hand out, 5-9. The error. Yeah, see that movement the again. Jahanga leads Thank you. 5 6-9. Rodney's taking quite a bit of time in between rallies, not being rushed. <laughs> Certainly being rushed in the rallies, though. <laughs> See, it's tight again on the wall. Bury 
a yard deeper than most other people in the back corners, Joe. Here. It makes it so much harder. You're always dragging the ball from behind you. There is a weakness in his game. Seven nine. I think he just Go showed on. it there. Uh, sometimes he does make errors on that forehand drop shot or a little angle shot as he tried on that occasion. Of the ball. Oh, there's, there's just no respite. He gets the ball so quickly, hits it so early, yeah. down. Hand it up. 10 7. Because he moves so fast, it makes his opponent, in this case Rodney, um, go just a bit too fine to try and get the ball away. And as a result, you tend to make the errors. Yes, left. Yes, left. A fair bit gets said and written, Jeff, about aggression between the Pakistan and Australian players. Is it uh, more talk than reality? Oh, no, you've got to remember that the Australians are one and two in the world, not the squash nations, and uh, there's tremendous rivalry there, so we each... Uh, like to beat each other. And that's been going on really for you know, a couple of decades now. Also have different um, both yes, different then. cultures and different types of uh, people. Ten seven, right. I don't think have a look at that lead situation as it developed. Jungle running to his back. Not getting out of the seven. way there. Bit of bad luck then. Uh, Jahangir came off the, the edge of his racket and went the other way that he expected. That's an important point for Jahangir. Makes him 11 7. Gives him a four point break. Rodney's saying the that Jahangir's not giving him any room to play the ball. He tends to stand on those drops a little bit at times and uh, makes it difficult to get through. Stroke the mark. Stroke the mark. That was a perfect example of it. And out. 87. That's the what me look. <laughs> well, he, was, uh, he didn't think it should have been a stroke, but um, let's, let's see how it goes again. You can see for yourself, he plays a shot, just stands in the way and uh, wasn't trying to get out of the way. Good decision by the referee. A lot of pressure on referees uh, from players. And out. 12 eight. Can he afford to hit errors from the back of the court like that? He, uh, he shouldn't be going for them if he's not really feeling his touches in at this stage. Yes, left. Yes, left. 12 eight. Rodney <laughs> expecting him to get out of the way again. <laughs> Let's look at this one again, see here the situation. Rodney plays it short, Jahangir again, and then... Well, he was backing away, but into him. <laughs> no, no, then. Hand out. 9-12. I hope that Rodney can keep his cool here, because uh, in the British Open Championship this year, he got very uptight about... Uh, the collisions on the court and the decisions, and that really upset his game. Rodney's better off playing much more relaxed. He seems to be okay at this stage. Ten 
12. So many come back from Martin. Get it to 10 12. Roshan, uh, he's farting. Only out no. <laughs> we'll see exactly what happens again. Mr. Hunky does a good forehand volley. Yes, Len. 10-12. How are you seeing this, Jeff? The right call's being made. Yeah. Yes, I think the referees are doing a good job at this stage. It's a difficult situation. Yes, Len. Yes, Len. 10 12. Jahangir definitely standing on the ball in those circumstances, and you know, perhaps he should be penalised again in that situation. Let's have a look at this incident here because uh, Rodney plays a shot and Jungle throws him right almost to the front wall. <laughs> so Jahangir's having no a little chat to the referee. Yeah. The referee asking for no pushing. Give me a room, I can go for it. Alright? I hope this match doesn't get out of hand with the pushing and shaking. Well. Uh, spoil what will be otherwise be a great contest. Hand side is uh, usually easier to play for a, a right-handed person or any person for that matter. Their backhand side, and they can hit a bit tighter down that side. Much more natural shot, would you believe, than a forehand in squash. And they feel very comfortable hitting down that side. Important point for Rodney. He must hang in here because. Down 10-12. Uh, Needs this point. Is it? It's a 50-shot rally so far. Yes, both players realising the importance of winning this particular rally. Very happy with that decision. 11 12, right. But again, he elected to stand after playing the shot and didn't make it have to go the way and was penalised. Extremely difficult for referees, Jeff, to interpret when players making a genuine effort to retreat or when they're just foxing. It's not easy, but um, don't forget the referees see a lot of high match squash and many of them played squash at that level themselves, so they get an idea of what's happening. Gets to 12 all, make it more exciting. But I think John goes, obviously wants to press ahead himself. Oh, here's an opportunity. Martin scrambling to stay in it. Oh, some great play here. Oh. Very lucky to get out of that rally. 
Well, Martin looked to be chasing the hole oh, all along. And he was too, Joe. He had him on the go all the way. He was very lucky to get out of it. Look at that. <laughs> Some great movement. Twelve all it is. Yes, Len. Twelve ball. Yes. He's doing a good job, the ref. I mean, that was a, a good shot of Rodney Martins, but Johunga definitely would have been able to get that one back. Unsettled, must he, Jahangir, from those few decisions early on because he's uh, Rodney Martin's come back now and leading 13 12 after being up. What was he down? Something like uh, 12 10, I think it was. This Martin was down by three points a couple of times early in this game. Now leads by one. A long first game, too. Who would you back in the fitness stakes, Jeff? Oh, I think they're both pretty fit. It uh, depends really not just the fitness, it's how much work each of them do. And Jahangi has the ability to really make you work hard at times. <laughs> Over his legs, says Rodney right. Martin. Well, well he did too. <laughs> Nearly went head first into a floor, but uh, he was better off asking for a let then than playing on because, I mean, he was un unbalanced really and he wasn't most likely to make an error out of that shot. for Jahangir. Brings him level at 13 all. Down. Unforced error. From 14, ball. 13, game ball. Good serve from Jahangir. Nice and tight. Was forced Rodney to boast it and uh, he went too fine and caught, made the error. It's game ball. Oh, yes, I thought you had it won three times, you know. Some great gets from Martin. Yeah. Again. How in the hell you got that? I don't know, but. Still game ball with Jahangir. 14 13. I think he was, uh, didn't give uh, Jahang enough. Let's have a look and see how we go with that. I don't think he gave him enough room. Yeah, he's definitely in his way. Should have been a stroke. Oh, oh, Jahang will be a bit disappointed now because uh, he thought he had that game won. Set three. 14 all, and they've chosen to play to 17. 
here. Set to three, which means the first person to win three points wins the game from here. They can set one if they like, but uh, that's pretty cutthroat. So it's up to the player who got to 14 first to make that choice. No, no. Yeah, 15-14. Let's see what happened there again. Lonely hits it across court. Jahangir drives it straight down the wall. from both men. 16-14. Great cross-court drive for a winner. Game ball for Jahanga. In fact, now he's got three game balls because he's leading 16-14. If he wins any of the next three rallies, he's won the game. So very difficult for Rodney Martin to win this game from here. Down. Game to crime. 17, well, I think we saw it all in that first game. All the skills from both players, they're very well matched, but Jahanga took it 17 14. Rodney Martin lost the first game, but gee, there was next to nothing in it. Had to fight hard to stay in that first game. Did so, but Jahanga strong at the finish of it. securing the door. <laughs> That's done it. And just a little bit of a hit up before they resume. Ball gets, ball gets a bit too dead if they don't do that. In between games it, it uh, slows right down so it gets back to playing condition. Can't leave one game in Adelaide, Adelaide. it's cool. Double. Jahanga to serve. Second game. Took the first 17 14. No, no, no. One love. Yeah, he wouldn't have got that one back. Too good a shot from Jahanga. There's no argument from Martin. He probably couldn't see the ball anyway when it finished. It's hard to know sometimes when your opponent's in front of you. Hand out. One all. It's a great shot by Rodney Martin there. Took full advantage of the situation. Here he is setting it up. Jones got a nice little angle. Racco across for it. 2-1. Martin's up 2 1. Played on then, Rodney. He obviously knew it was down. Mm. I think he's just making a point to the referee. Yes, lad. Yes, lad. To all.
Yes, Len. Two all. If you hit such a good shot, you hunger on those. And uh, if you elect to stay in the way a little bit, it gets very difficult to get through. Still two all. Decision. Ronnie plays a little drop shot. So Jahanga thought it was down. Well, the ball looked like it was up, and the marker called it down, and the referee decided to play a lead on it. He wasn't sure. It's too all. Too good that time. Three, two. As you were saying before, Jeff, uh, Rodney's got to hit a just about unplayable shot to get one from Jahanga. Yeah, he's so good at covering the court. Some fast action here. <laughs> See the speed of the game, can't you? When the good players of this are in action. Oh, the stretching and the lunging, it, it's wonderful to watch. They're very athletic. And out, three all. I heard from one of the officials before that. Uh, Looks like there's uh, over 2,000 people here in the stadium, which uh, would make it the biggest ever squash match or the biggest ever uh, gallery for an Australian event, which is fantastic. I'm sure a lot of Adelaide people keen to come along and get into this uh, centre for the first time and to see the world's best squash players in action. courts have revolutionised the game from a spectator point of view. from all around the court except for the back wall the players can't see out there's got one-way perspex is uh, terrific stuff all right rodney martin just taking his time here composing himself he's getting a bit uptight there Jahanga gets most of the shots back anyway. He was hoping he might have got that one as well. It's 4 3 to Martin, second game. Jahanga took the first. Oh, it's a lovely pick up. Yes, Led. Yes, Led. 4 3. Look at that rally again. There's some. A good action, ball was tight on the wall. Rodney couldn't quite get through. Oh, magnificent, and acknowledged by Jahanga. 5 3. Not up. So, miss hit. 6 3. 
good couple of points for Rodney. He slowed the whole tempo down in the last few rallies, and I think that's helped him. No lead. No lead. 7-3. Could have been a tough one on Johanga. Perhaps, perhaps a bit of a tough decision that last one, because uh, Rodney drove down the wall, and Johanga... Chahanga to make sure he doesn't get a run on Jeff and just yeah. try and slow him down. Mm. Well, the, pressure between he, points. the pressure in his game is such that you know, you're, you're on the go all the time. No left. No left. Well, well, there have been a few controversial decisions. Let's see what happened on this four. one. Well, Martin had his foot out. It was accidental. He does a drop shot and fell over. <laughs> it's too good, I think. said it was a, a good shot and uh, he said for you maybe <laughs> hand out how do i give that <laughs> i think the referee was right all the same <laughs> it's Jahanga didn't actually make contact with martin's foot yes lad yes lad eight four And yet another interference situation, Rodney going down the wall, Junger running into him. It's 8-4, Martin's up in the second game, Jahanga having won the first. Oh, driven deep into the corner. 9-4. Down. Hand out. Clever. Five nine. Yeah, he gets a bit lackadaisical on some of those. Instead of uh, taking a good swing at it, he just poked at it. Can he afford to make errors against this man? He's too good a player, Jack. He's to get points away like that. Jeffrey. Yep, I've seen it all before. Well, <laughs> oh, that's the way to do it. Lovely log followed by a fantastic drive down the wall. Hand out. Let's see how Ten good five. this is. Lob across court to the forehand corner. Younger boast and then delayed down the wall. up 10-5. Look how tight they are. Oh, you lovely play. Hand out, 6-10. Yes, 
610. It's a good angle to watch the squash from, isn't it? You get a different perspective of it all. You can see the position of the players at the back of the court. Still 10-6 with Martin up in the second game. Looking to level up at a game all. Still a way to go yet. Yeah, he's up by four points, but um, the hung is keeping the pressure on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> no doubt about that. Jungi would have definitely got that ball back. We'll see it again. Ronnie does a drop shot. It's one of the interesting dilemmas for referees, Jeff, is you have to allow for the fact that that's a shot that Jahanga might get to, but somebody else might not. Oh, yes. Oh, that was a good boast to you. There's no doubt about it, but it's up Seven to the stand of the player. If he can get the ball back, well, then he has a chance of being the lead. Oh. I didn't notice it. I don't yeah, know if must have been a fold on the front wall. I wasn't watching. I'd like to see it again. A line see across the centre of the screen. See how it goes. Well, it was still hard for us to see there, wasn't it as well? So pretty close to that line. Good recovery here, but oh, Jahangi had him set up and hit it back to him. Not up. Well, oh, there's another con controversial decision here. Ronnie has a drop shot. Oh. Rodney's, asking, would, Rodney's asking, well, could he have hit a winner off it? Because if uh, Martin, right. the mark is called interrupted a winning situation, well, then it would still be Rodney's point. But uh, the referee obviously decided no, that he wasn't sure Rodney could hit a winner off it anyway, so uh, let stand. Martin's up 11 7. Oh, bad luck. Well, he chased it down well, but it was so low to the ground. Hand out. 8 11. He certainly had the pressure on him then. Almost getting it back. The spectator's gone to get the ball and he uh, threw it back in but missed. <laughs> you won't get it through there. Third yes, time will. lucky. <laughs> 8 11. Getting down to the end, business end of the, the game now. Each point very important at this stage. Yeah. Gee, that's the first uh, error I think that Jahangi yeah. has made almost in the oh, whole mate. game. We'll see how he does it. Ronnie does a good drop shot and just a bit too low. The stretch eight. to lead now to 13-8, uh, so that's five points. Down. Hand out. second game against Chris Robertson that uh, Jahanga lost in his semi-final. And Martin's close to taking the second one here. Still, at, uh, he's got a lot of fight in this. He doesn't give the points away easily, Jung. Yes. So. Oh. oh, yes. How is that for a shot? Jung, Jung is appealing. Hand out. Fourteen nine. Game ball. Let's see how it goes again. Drop shot to the forehand. Little angle. Beautiful. Yes, Len. Yes, the yes, replay Len. showed it was good. Fourteen nine. Game ball.
game to Martin. 15-9. Well, this men's World Open final very much alive. A game apiece. Jahanga took the first 17-14. But Rodney Martin, brilliant in the second, taking it 15-9. back on court for game number three they won a piece and you'd have been pleased with uh, Rodney's four minute second one Jeff yes he played the game very well from the beginning though he got back from uh, the first game loss where he was up at what game point in the first game so he must have been disappointed losing that but he played well um, unfortunately a few uh, controversial decision right there early at the thing. I thought the referee did a pretty good job overall. But, uh, Martin serves at the start of the third game. Oh, what a start. One up. Took a way to start the game. Lovely drop shot winner. get the and great start from Martin he sets up a high lob and again to hunger court going the wrong way Martin's on fire that's why you like to start a game Bit, but uh, there's no way he would have got the ball back. You could see it was away from him. I don't think he really meant to uh, push Jahangir like that. He didn't realise he was quite in the way, but uh, looked a bit aggressive, didn't he? Mm. Not a bad shirt front. Just interested in the way Jahangir serves. He really seems to aim for the player and make the player get out of the way on the serve. It's a good serve, that. It comes straight down the middle at the play. It, it, you're right. It's a, a difficult serve to get back. No, hand up. 4 1. I think Jahangir is a bit unsettled you know, with the first of all the decisions and he's, I suppose he's playing a long way from home in the front of an Australian's home crowd for the World Championship. Hello. Five, one. held in Australia was uh, was in Adelaide. Left. We'll have a look at that situation again. Jahangir does a drop shot. Rodney hit him's head on the rack on the way through. It's 5-1 to Martin, third game.
right retrieving. Yes, Len. Yes, Len. Five one. Both players are desperate that <laughs> they get the ball and they're really Left. charging at the ball to get, effort to get it back. One of the right. best rallies of the, of the match that took some of the replay again. Great cross court, beautiful drop, opened it up. Six one to Martin. Gee, there's some good pickups off difficult shots, both players. Yes, Len. Six one. Right. The crowd, uh, not agreeing. Yeah. I think John had a chance to gain that one back, and uh, would have been very disappointed if he hadn't got that one. I think. Four lets in the last rally, haven't we? Yeah, they're still stuck on six one. A lot of effort amounting to nothing out there. Been on court nearly an hour already. Yeah, you don't win a world championship easily, do you? No. <laughs> to Jahangir in the end. Stroke to Martin. Stroke to Martin. Hand out. Stroke Seven goes two. to Rodney Martin. The rules have been uh, changed to make that a stroke. There's no doubt about that, the referee is right. So from head on, looks this way. Don't worry, the ball's not going to hit you. <laughs> now, give you an idea of the effort the players put in, you see their faces. And Rodney Martin taking a bit of a hold on this third Eight game. Two. Sets it up with a good length drive and a whack on the neck. Down. 9 2. Have you seen Rodney play much better than this, Jeff? No, he's playing perfect squash at the moment. Uh, Jahangi's a bit unsettled. I don't think Jahangi's playing probably as well as he can. He's, um, I think, been a bit unsettled with some of the decisions and the let situations, but. I wouldn't give him away yet. He's still a great competitor. 10-2. A useful a drop shot coming up. Yeah, fantastic little drop angle. It hits the side ball first and just goes around the corner. 10-2 to Martin. Yes, how's that for a shot? No idea which way it was going. Hand out, 3 10. That'll give Jiang a bit of encouragement. Another shot like that.
put the pressure back on Jungle. Now he's starting to hit the ball harder, trying to extract himself from this position of being down a long way. A defensive lob from Martin. Oh, yes, well picked up. Improve the tempo. Yes, lad. Yes, lad. Yeah, good, good decision there again. We'll see what happens. Drop shot by Rodney. Slight interference. Jahanga serving, 310. Right, tactics by Jahanga to try and increase the pace a bit, get himself, because he's... Oh, oh, oh but yes. that's a shot from the back of the court. And I guess up, at 10-3, you can afford to go for a few of those outright winners. Risky shot. Oh, yes. No, no, no. no, at that time, it was too good. It was dropping in an awful oh, hurry. Let's have a look at it again. I don't think Jungle would have got it. It's a nice drop by him, but an even better one by Rodney. 12-3 to Martin. Edging towards a two game to one lead. Oh, hit it back to him. Oh, great desperation by John. Oh, he got another one back. Oh, oh. No. He had no right to win that round. <laughs> Outstanding squash to hang out. Thought he'd given up on it a couple of times. And out. Great Four desperation, well. but fantastic effort. There's that overview of the court again. Certainly playing that straight drop shot and well out. now, isn't it? A couple of times we've seen that in this game. She <laughs> hung you half hearted with that deal, I think. Game ball. Not very happy with the referee, but. Uh... Game ball. 14 4. Oh, yes, what oh, a way yes. to finish it. A punish again to the game. And Rodney Martin edging ahead of Jahanga Khan, taking the third game, 15-4. Rodney Martin keen to get back out there and continue in the same vein as the third game. to resume in the fourth game and that third game scoreline of 15 4 well, the most convincing of the match so far very unusual i don't think i've ever seen jahangir lose a match a game rather 15 4 I and mean, that's uh, very unlike him i expect him to really bounce back here and really put in a big effort that again. I think that Rodney Martin's ball was up, but uh, Jahanga obviously... Too low. Well, it went Rodney Martin's way. I'm sure he's happy about it. Yeah, 
Nice ball five down here. Hand out, one, two. Defense of the players and the referee, Jeff, uh, the tin isn't too tinny. That uh, doesn't make that giveaway sound uh, much different to the perspex. No, you just got to use your, your vision for it, and it's not easy. I mean, they, they're hitting it so low above the tin, and obviously that's the idea as well. <laughs> the lower the better, the better shot it's going to be. But, uh, See that one again. Up to the front, Jahangir has a drop shot. Again, just blocking him. Unlucky, but uh, I mean, a bit lucky, Jahangir. You could have lost the stroke on that one, but. Um... Yes, Len. Yes, Len. One, two. Here we go again, a few lads yes. starting off it. Really uh, got bogged down in the first game. Down. Very hard to play when the ball goes behind Two you. All. Do a straight drop shot, sir. So. And Jahanga plays for that. Did it many times against Chris Robertson in the semi. through there. <laughs> He's quite right. Yeah, but so here we go again. Good pick up. Hmm, a couple of good drop shots there. players in that rally. Do you have to make some pick up from that position? A beautiful drop shot to finish it off. <laughs> Nearly hit him with that one. Yes, Len. Yes, Len. Rodney Martin disappointed he didn't get Three, the stroke two. there. I hope he doesn't get uptight and think about it. He's better off getting on playing the game. Side of Jahanga there. Straight man. Straight yes. man. Jahanga could have done more to get out of the way there. And out. Three all. Right call, Jeff. Yes, I think so. There's no doubt about that. Jahanga. Ball in the middle. He has to get make more effort. Three apiece. Fourth game. Martin leads two games to one. It's a great boast, isn't it? just a good log. <laughs> Stupid shot, says Rodney Martin to himself. Four, three. Yeah, we'll see what. It was a silly shot. It was impossible really to play that shot from up there. Hunger leads, 4-3. Oh. Make it 4-all. And out. 4-all. Rodney taking his time again between the points. Compose himself, get him ready. Oh. Yes. 
set it up beautifully. Martin dragging Jahanga from one side to the oh. other. And Rodney will certainly four. help him because he's uh, up to 6 4. Slightly the fresher. Right. He does. Let's, let's see that rally again. There was some good tight squash interference again. I know having lost to Jahanga twice this year already, Rodney uh, told you he was uh, absolutely determined to win this time. But uh, did his expression of his tactics go further than beyond saying he wanted to win? No. <laughs> yes, lad. Yes, lad. That's a funny shot, shot there. Right. See what happens with Jung. It's a very good length shot, and Rodney delays the ball. Hmm. I think he thought he would have hit him on that shot, so... I don't know. Good one to call that on, I think, for Rodney's point of view. Down. Hand out. Five, six. That was the sort of shot that lost the first game for him, wasn't it? Wasn't mm. quite in position. And they'll afford to give points away like that against such a good player as Jiang Yu. I suppose the only thing is though, he does go <laughs> for so many, he's got a few, hit a few down, but... And maybe the chance is not as, not as good in that one. Oh, oh great reflexes, Martin. <laughs> all over each other. Play on. Oh, what a rally. Oh. It's a lovely drop. Another Hi, drop. Another one. Five, and even six. more. Good reflexes. How is that one? <laughs> well. Extraordinary rally, really. Well, some dispute Five, about uh, the previous rally, Jeff. Yeah, Rodney Martin thought that he'd the Marcus call interrupted a definite win on his part, but seeing all the other retrieves, I think that uh, that was a bit ambitious on his part. Oh, that was a beautiful shot. Strength in the wrist. Be that close to the front wall and drive Six to the back. Oh, that was did in that rally. That was a great point by Jahangir. Gee, he played that well. <laughs> Rodney was going from corner to corner. He isn't a fantastic player. Here's that great drop shot. Lovely lob from a very difficult position. Error by Rodney. Stroke to mark. And up. Seven six. Mm, another stroke. <laughs> Gee, and he's been nicked on the forehead, I think. I'm standing here, boy. Uh, what do you want? You're in the way. That must be a stroke. Yeah. Very disappointed about that one. Seven six to Martin. Frustration. 
let's see what happens here again. Jahangir plays a drop shot, moves straight back, and Rodney can't get through. Well, Jahangir didn't thought he didn't think he would have got there. Martin thought Jahangir didn't make much of an effort to get out of the way. And the referee just said it was a lap, so. <laughs> One of the problems when you're playing on the court as a player, you always think you're your way and uh, you're not always right. Down. Oh. Jah Jahangi appealing against the pickup. 8-6. Well, I thought it was a bit doubtful that pickup. But um, still, the uh, referee thought it was okay. His time once again, Rodney, get himself composed. It's up eight six. Yes, lad. Yes, lad. Eight six. Left. Right, let's see the situation again. Rodney feeling that Jahangi is crowding him. I think he really had room to play the ball. I think he was just frightened of hitting him, and he would have been better off playing because he had the opening position. Still 8 6 to Martin. Yes, lad. Yes, lad. 8 6. So we're not getting far, Jeff. <laughs> no, there's been a lot of written nets in this game, unfortunately. There's you know, been some terrific squash, but it's a shame when you see so much interference. But yeah, well, Lester's been some terrific stuff. Oh, oh, look at that wow. one. That's been his favourite corner, Martin. He's worked some magic down there. 9-6 now. Six. That situation. Let's see the situation again. Rodney does a little angle shot. Jahangir, Seven too nine. good, I think. Down the wall. Down. Down. Eight, nine. Still fighting hard, Jahangir here. He's yeah. creeping back. Eight, nine now. You called it right, Jeff. He said he was going to do something in this fourth game. each other's feet a bit. Rodney Martin just uh, looking at his knee, it's okay. Again slowing it down. Jahanga serving at 8-9. Eight, 8-9 nine. He's done some fantastic recoveries this this game, Jahangi picked up some terrific shots to Rodney. Yes, lad. Eight, nine. The game's getting a bit tense now, isn't it? <laughs> An hour and 15 minutes they've been playing. Left. Good crowd here. It's the best crowd ever to watch a squash match in Australia. And this week they've probably watched the best ever squash they've ever seen in Australia too. Oh, nice and tight. 
The attempted to drop from Jahanga. Not there. Ten out. Let's see that drop shot again. Down the wall. Nice drop. Tight on the wall. Unable to get off Jahangir. Needed a crowbar. Turning circles, running it down. Fabulous rally. Oh, oh that's right. No let. No let given. No let. Well, that's the most exciting row of the match so far in my 11 8. Great stuff. 11 8. So Martin's just four points away from a world title. They both look a bit tired after that rally. They're both washing around. <laughs> I don't doubt it though, they've been going for 77 minutes, so. Oh, beautiful length. Oh. That's a shot. Yep, unplayable. And out, 911. Jahanga digging in. I don't know about you, but my heart's pounding. See what happened. Good pressure by Jahangi. Nice drop shot. Rodney trying to get through. I think the ball was too good there. So uh, Rodney Martin wants the that corner wiped where he had the fall. Probably a good idea. Gives him a chance to get over that fall. I think it's a bit ambitious to expect a let there, however. But uh, no hiding a Christmas box. No. Great contest here, isn't it? There's not much between the two at the moment. Eleven on. Martin, what happened there? Unfortunately, the ball, because Rodney fell against the wall, um, there was sweat on the wall. So when it hit there and slid along, and therefore that's why he couldn't get that return. It looked like he made a miss hit, but it was due to the the water on the wall that made him do it. So. Bit of bad luck there because he had a good situation. Eleven all. Oh, that yes. was a beautiful shot. That was good. Changa thought it might have been and down, out. but no way. 12, 11. Martin, another point closer. He's beaten Jahanga twice in his career, but not for a while. There's certainly nothing as important as an occasion like this. He's a good try to try. He's really fighting hard here. Yes, Lynn. Yes, Lynn. 12-11. I think he's tired, Jahanga, but he's still pushing hard, isn't he? Yeah. Going for the ambitious shot. Wasn't on. And out. 12 all. Jahangir's taken full advantage of it, so 12 all. Jahangir's won the World Open six times. This is Martin's first final. 
Gee, he almost hit the nick at the back of the court. Oh, how was that for a shot? He's pulled that off half a dozen times, Martin. I tell you what, I don't think I would have gone for that one. It was so close to the wall. Hand out. 13, 12. Let's see how. Look at it again. Oh, great. No, no, no. Oh, that was a bad call. Hand sorry, out. So. 13, all. Gee. Unless I'm getting excited. <laughs> well, he thought he would have got there. I wasn't so sure. 13s. Yes. 14, 13. Out. Well, that ball made a funny noise. I actually 14, thought the ball was 13. down. Did you Match see ball. that? Gee whiz, I tell you what, I, I thought that ball that was one. down. But uh, that was so close. Well, controversy towards the end, Gee. perhaps. Just for the World Open. He's done it. Yes. The world open to Rodney Martin in four games. Fourteen seconds.